My name is Deontay Foster. I'm originally from Keys, but living in KR now. Um, and I'm 29 years old. And um, my occupation, I work at the SKNA PD at Matt Knight Community Center. We do like graphic designs and um, jewelry making and a bunch of different stuff about myself um, I I lost my leg uh, in 2015 from osteosarcoma um, it's a form of bone cancer is uh, so if you don't know what it is it's actually bone cancer is uh, um, struggle dealing with um, the cancer in my knee um, um, I actually found out um, when I got well I went out to California to uh, compete for the Special Olympics and the doctors told me that I need to go to a doctor as soon as possible back here in St. Kitts I went to Dr. Hendrickson I he um, had me do the biopsy and then within a week or so he got the results back called us back into his office and he and Dr. Warner diagnosed me with osteosarcoma and just hearing him saying that I have cancer bone cancer it I took it to heart I didn't really was looking for anything like that because I didn't I couldn't even imagine myself going through what I what I've been through and and it was not only hard on me it was hard on my mom because she grieved a lot because I she well I lost my aunt she lost her sister um during the same year uh, in 2015 from she I lost my aunt to pancreatic cancer. So around seven months later, I've been diagnosed with osteosarcoma. I, res I received treatment in upstate New York, uh, Syracuse. I did treatment for about seven and a half months. Going to, uh, wow, um, going to treatment, it was tough because I uh, have to go to chemo. Uh, one of the chemo last two of the chemo actually last about four hours and one of them lasts 24 hours so i have to get two bags of 24 hours uh chemo so that's 48 hours along with the other two um i got sick as usual lost my hair lose weight um didn't have the appetite to eat so it was just tough. I've been diagnosed in 2015 at the age of 21. In treatment, seven and a half months, and then um, around 22nd of September in 2016, I, I end up had surgery, open lung surgery. Um, so it was, that was tough. Um, just to talk, I had to um, take small breath to finish a, whole, a full sentence. So it was pretty tough. And when were you first told that you were cancer free at the end of uh, Around after I finished my last two treatments in 2016, I can't remember the actual date, but the told me that I was in remission and I was happy. My mom was happy, my family was happy to know that I made it through stage four osteosarcoma, which means it's very rare. I was, it's, the percentage is very low for someone to make it through something like that. So I was very grateful and I thank God every day to be here to share my story with everyone, to um, inspire them, and just 
to give, the, give other people hope who does not have it. Thank you for your time. All right, thanks. <laughs>